Okay, so yeah, obviously Harry O'Sullivan has written this story uh, mm-hmm. for Savings to Come to You. So Harry, uh, who's joins us now, uh, do you want to just run us through the nuts and bolts of what's going on here? Yeah, cool. So the uh, first homeowner grant is available for Queenslanders who are buying a new property or like paying to, to build a new one. Um, it was fifteen thousand dollars, and as of Sunday, they just upped it to thirty thousand. Hmm. And yeah, that's pretty much any kind of new home you can think of. So they they listed, you know, granny flat, um, unit, townhouse, duplex, whatever. Yeah, if it's if it's off the plan, a new a new hmm. build, you um, the Palaszczuk government will chip in chip in that thirty grand. Hmm. Um, there's equivalent ones in other states, but with this obviously doubling, uh, Queensland is the joint highest with Tasmania. Mm. Um, in ta- um, New South Wales and Victoria, the uh, equivalent grant is only 10,000. So yeah, it's a mm. big, yeah, oh, it, it's, it's, it's hefty, yeah. But yeah, obviously there's there's a few people who aren't super over the moon about it. Mm. Yeah, uh-huh. for sure. It's, um yeah, so who are those people? And it's kind of going against the grain, right? A lot of property types yeah. are usually all for, you know, stimulus and because it's good for agents, good for buyers agents and, and like good for property business in general, but not everyone's happy. Yeah, so um, we obviously, the friend of the show, Simon Presley, he, he was one who wasn't bananas about it. And he was <laughs> saying that, um, yeah, so uh, newly constructed properties are like t- generally like 2% of the, the market for someone who's looking to buy a home. So realistically, that aren't, it's not a huge section of first home buyers who are actually gonna be helped. Mm. His argument was that, you know, if this was really about helping pe- more people into owning houses, you just make that grant available for any house you wanted to mm. buy rather than mm. the construction ones. It's like, this probably maybe equally help, is helpful to the construction industry as well as just yeah, mm. as much well, as it's supposed buyers. to be there to incentivize more yeah. people to buy new to, to yeah, really spur yeah, sure. on increased supply in the market. So, yeah, I, I mean, what's it going to do if it, if it's available to to everyone uh, buying new or existing property? Is is it? It's just going to put up prices, prices further, right? Up. Yeah, yeah. But then then there's some people that that argue that this just puts up the price of newly established, uh, newly built properties by by thirty thousand. Yeah. But it's also, I guess, it's it's only first home buyers who will benefit from that. So prices mm. won't go up by an equivalent amount, I guess. Like mm. for first home buyers, they're still going to be better off than they would have been without the grant. But you hear some people say, oh, as soon as the, the, the builder finds out they're first home buyers, they'll put up the house and land package by 30,000 because they know they're getting grant of 30,000. I mean, I don't think there's ever been any solid studies that actually prove the, the impact here. So it's a lot of... Uh, theory and I think this time around too there's um, there's a like I was reading that there's a safeguard in place to um, what the what the property would cost now is what it has to be when the first homeowner enters the, the contract so they mm. can't just jack up prices okay. by 30 grand oh, or, or you know or do whatever yeah. um, but it's kind of a funny one because you know the, the REIQ the Real Estate Institute of Queensland has come out hitting hitting out against it and usually they're all for the, these sort of policies but um, they come out against it saying it's adding demand at a time there's like low supply anyway and there's not enough tradies and not enough supplies to actually build what's needed mm. um, and they say too and, they, and and I like personally I think it's a good point is um, that the, st- the the state government's adding to inflationary pressures because all of a sudden there's 30 extra grand per per you know first home buyer theoretically. Um, at the same time, the RBA is trying to reduce inflation by reducing demand. So, um, kind of two two opposing forces, I, I guess. Bit of a funny one. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, it's I guess it's might not just be like thirty thousand dollars extra for first home buyers borrowing power. Like, they kind of might buy the house they would have had anyway, but now have an extra like thirty grand in their pocket. Mm. So, yeah, mm. I don't know. That seems like a but there's, there's price caps inflation. for the for the grant, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so it's seven hundred and fifty grand. Yeah, seven hundred and fifty. Yeah, and that's including the value of the land as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah, it, 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 yeah we're not talking about. So this will be your yeah, house is probably more on the outskirts um, of, yeah. of the city, or, or very very small houses in the more inner city suburbs. That's actually fairly generous. I reckon. New. It's um like the median 
house price, I think, for Brisbane itself is mm. just over 800. So yeah. it's kind of Is that houses? Is that, that including apartments? I think it's just houses. Oh, wow. Um, so, okay. and for units too, it's a lot cheaper. So yep. you'd imagine there'd be a lot more units and townhouses available under mm. that threshold and yeah. a few kind of houses in Brisbane and then in the regions too, like if you're buying in Townsville or you know, yeah. Blackwater or something. Like, mm. I'm, I'm assuming outside of Brisbane and the Gold Coast, 750 grand would probably actually get you get you a fair way. Pretty decent yeah. property, yeah. Um, but I, I mean, they say it's restricted to you know newly built properties only, but I, I think I have seen that um, substantially renovated properties are yeah. also eligible. Yeah. yeah, I did see that, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. And then granny flats too, right? Like you can build a granny yeah. flat out, out the back of your parents' property and mm. boom, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> what about tiny homes? Yeah, tiny homes, we love those. <laughs> Obviously a, a pretty big news. Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'd describe it as good news for first-time buyers because there are a lot of first-time buyers that are opposed to this sort of thing because they just think um, it's just going to result in more competition and drive mm. up prices further. But some first-time buyers, I'm sure, will be will be celebrating yeah. this news and will be pretty happy with it. So, um, Harry O'Sullivan, really appreciate your time going through the details of this one. Thanks, Thank you very much. Yeah, nice. Thank Thanks, you. Harry. Talk to you next and time. now for our fiscal focus chat, talking about the cost of raising kids. <laughs> 